Hey everyone, the name's Eric Dor, and in today's video, allow me to show you that intuitives actually have better memory than people think. Actually, the thing about memory is that people assume memory is just one thing, one process in the mind, and so they assume that is related to introverted sensing. In fact, memory has many different ways of functioning, and it's, there are many different forms of memory, and memory cannot be isolated to one part of the brain, but to many. There are memories that form themselves as stories, there are memories of instructions, there are memories that are more rote than categorized, and then there are memories that are more about association. And the key trait of the intuitive type is the ability to memorize associations. The ability to see how things are connected. The ability to store and access memory and associations from these memories. That is the intuitive gift. While intuitives might not be good at remembering exactly how something happened, while intuitives can't draw on specific forms of information, that in general, the introvert intuitives are all going to be amazing when it comes to accessing and finding out how you have seen connections in the past. You could see intuitive introverts as conservative creative types. They are constantly memorizing associations and connections and storing them inside and drawing from them and building on them. They are building on something up. Uh, from the bottom up, constantly expanding and seeing new connections to these new ideas. They are fitting things together into systems and concepts. Intuitives remember concepts. They don't remember in particular uh, maybe names or dates or uh, how something uh, uh, looked or what uh, item you were holding, but they remember the connections between different things and often big picture connections between different things. Intuitive extroverts uh, also excel at seeing associations and connections, but more in the real time. They are constantly unpacking everything around them, looking at connections between the paintings, the shelves, the items in the room, and how everything fits together, seeing what should be where and how things should be connected, and uh, building themes in their environment, and seeing how you use and connect different sources of information. It's the case that intuitive introverts uh, prefer to constantly access and build on old information, constantly uh, adding on and proving and cementing and uh, adding and uh, developing an idea, where the intuitive extrovert always sees it from a new angle. The new painting is always seen from a new perspective. Things are always looked at from different angles. And there you have to consider not just being an intuitive introvert, but also being an intuitive judging type or an intuitive perceiving type. With intuitive perceiving types, usually the case is that it's about seeing things in creative ways. The intuitive perceiving type is the most creative of all types in real time. It can juggle five different possibilities in the moment. It can see how five different solutions to a problem. It can see five different connections between different objects where the intuitive judging type rather is testing ideas against each others. The intuitive judging type is narrowing down, picking out options and trying to streamline them from five to one. The intuitive perceiving type on the other hand is trying to add possibilities, going from zero to five. It's about a complete different starting point often that the intuitive judging type is about systemizing ideas and that the intuitive perceiving type is about adding ideas and putting new things on the table. Hey guys, look at this new idea, or look at this new connection I found, or look at this new possibility we could explore, rather than, hey, I think this is the best possibility, I think I want this option. Often, the intuitive judging type decides more quickly what it wants or what possibility is the most likely. The intuitive judging type is constantly speculating on information, determining 
the most likely scenario and ruling out all unlikely scenarios. It's the Sherlock Holmes of once you eliminate the impossible, then whatever remains, no matter how improbable, must be the truth. That often the intuitive judging type doesn't concern themselves with possibilities that seem far-fetched, where the intuitive perceiving type considers themselves engaged with all ideas, no matter how crazy they might seem in the beginning, no matter how unlikely they might be. Uh, the intuitive perceiver type doesn't narrow down to what's most likely. It narrows down to what is most interesting, what is most uh, thrilling, what is most scary, what's most dangerous. When you look at intuitive uh, and memory, what you will notice is just this richness in how we memorize things and how we access memories. Sometimes as an intuitive judging introvert, I can feel bad about my ability to access memories. I can notice with ENFPs and with other types that they are much better at quickly accessing information and remembering how something happened. For me it's different. For me it's that while I don't remember exact pieces of information, or oh, we went to that movie, I remember the concept of it, I remember the big picture of it. So often it takes a while for me to make that connection. Often, while intuitive, <laughs> with ENFPs and ENTPs, they can always see connections very quickly. For me, finding that connection, uh, finding that concept can be, take a longer time. Often I need a little more data, or I need a more context, uh, where in general the in sensing introverts don't seem to need as much context. Um, with context I feel like usually I remember uh, in general forms or in big forms, where the sensor uh, remembers in more specific forms, so they can see quickly, oh this piece of information versus that piece of information. Uh, but for me, I see the the house of information. I see the uh, I, I I struggle to pick out the door. I struggle to pick out the trees. But I, I I'm good at this. I'm memorizing when I see the concept of it. When I know what it's going or where I know what it fits into. Often I think that intuitive introverts are a little sloppy with specific facts that uh, we generalize to a higher extent that we create and say, oh, something like that, or we approximate. We work so much in approximation. For us, information is all, always an approximation. We think that information is something general and you don't have to be that specific about it and you don't have to uh, go that much into detail. You can just uh, brush over it quickly because the details aren't as important as the picture, the big picture it forms. Yes, the small uh, edges don't really ma matter. I can I, don't, I can ignore them. I'm not uh, that I'm not perfectionistic about things like that. I am more perfectionistic about ideas and concept and how, uh, concepts and how to apply them. I think it's kind of interesting because when you look at the INTJ or the INFJ, what you will notice is that they are so much by the rules when it comes to ideas. There are so many rules, so many orders and structures to be upheld because of being an intuitive judging type. Where the intuitive perceiving type seemingly can access all of these things at random, they can push the button and go there and then uh, put, uh, do that, and in they, uh, this, it seems like there is no order to it. And I discussed this with my friend, and she told me it was the opposite way around. She told me that the intuitive judging type was the one that was disorganized and that did things in a bad order. And that really made me thinking about how relatively I see it. Obviously for me, I have a set way my mind operates, a set idea of how information should be ex operated through. And intuitive judges have this path or a direction of, in which they explore interests and talk about conversations and explore topics, where intuitive perceivers pick an entirely different route. Intuitive perceivers take another route, and for them it's not random. It's not as random as we think it is. Actually, it's the case that they have an idea of where they are doing or what they're exploring or how they are doing it, and they do know what they are doing. And for them it seems natural. For them it's like, what? What do you mean? I can't do this. Of course I can. <laughs> and um, that can surprise you to ex an extent as an intuitive judging type. And it can surprise you even more when you realize that to them, you are the one that's looking random. 
to them, you are the one that seems like you're just blindly doing things. So I think a lot of times intuitive perceivers look at uh, us INFJs and INTJs and they go, what are you doing? Where are you going? Uh, why are you going in that direction? Uh, where are you headed? Uh, it seems for them so out of the blue, so random, so strange. Uh, but to us, of course, there is an idea behind it. And that's the magic of personality psychology. We have so many views beyond just personality type that are so relative. So many notions about each other that are so relative. And it's a fascinating subject to dive into how it really looks. And I hope to do that together with all of you. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you have any thoughts about this feel free to share them down below and let's start a good discussion and I hope to see you guys in the next video. May you may may your neurons be with you.